while Donald Trump and Sarah Huckabee Sanders both seem to realize that Trump is essentially Harvey Weinstein with nuclear codes and a lower IQ. White House counselor Kellyanne Conway is among the Trump world figures who lack the self-awareness to understand that none of them have the slightest bit of standing to weigh in on Weinstein's sexual misconduct. But as usual, Conway's numbness to shame is breathtaking and boundary-pushing. After tweeting a criticism of Hillary Clinton for waiting until after the holiday weekend to denounce Weinstein, Conway appeared on Fox News on Wednesday morning to push the most bizarrely contradictory attack on Hillary Clinton that I've ever heard. Anchor Bill Hemmer read Hillary Clinton's statement to Conway and asked for her reaction. Without a trace of irony, Conway then began to cite things like the gravity of the commander-in-chief role and the need to empower women as reasons to criticize Hillary Clinton for denouncing the very same behavior her boss bragged about on tape. But the most incredible thing was her nickname for Weinstein a tweet very sparingly and strategically, I'm always amazed how easily baited some people are, but we'll talk about that in future years. On this, I felt like a woman who ran to be commander-in-chief, who talks about women's empowerment, took an awfully long time to give support to those women who are coming forward and has still, as far as I know, kept the money, kept the dirty money the dirty Harvey has given her and her campaign, as far as I know, Kellyanne Conway is cashing paychecks every week from Dirty Donald and even scored a tax-free million-dollar windfall for her sexual predator flackery. Amazingly, it gets even worse from there. Hemmer asks if Conway will be satisfied if Hillary returns the money, and Conway actually brings up the Access Hollywood tape herself then, during a segment where SAGS slamming Hillary for not commenting about Weinstein, she slams Hillary for commenting about Trump's sexual assault boasts simultaneously then, at the end, I'm pretty sure she offers to team up with Hillary to impeach Trump she needs to not be a hypocrite about women's empowerment and what it means to be pro-woman, she spent one solid month this time last year talking about an audio tape from 11 years earlier, where a statement was made by the now President of the United States, who was victorious because she didnt talked to the forgotten man a forgotten woman. She had no economic optimistic plan. And what has she done privately in her private life? She is on a book tour talking about herself in a campaign she lost, SAGS not talking about women's empowerment, SAGS not trying to help victims of sexual assault. I welcome that. She can call me in the White House today, she knows the number, she was the first lady for eight years, and work in a bipartisan fashion on sexual assault. I welcome that. We don't hear that from her. To date, Donald Trump has faced allegations of sexual misconduct from more than a dozen women, and he bragged on video about committing sexual assaults with impunity, as Conway just noted. I'm sure Hillary Clinton would be happy to help out with Dirty Donald, Kellyanne. Make sure you pick up that call. Watch Trump brag about sexually assaulting women below. Please note this is a commentary piece. The views and opinions expressed within it are those of the author only and do not necessarily reflect the editorial opinion of IJR.